What is going on you guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. I've got eight things going out today that I sold on eBay and one thing that I sold on Facebook Marketplace. So let's go ahead and get these orders pulled, packed, and shipped out. First up is this pair of women's New Balance shoes. These are pretty old. They've been listed on eBay for maybe eight or nine months or so. I think I got these at the Goodwill Bins for about $2.50 and they sold for $14 plus shipping. Next up is another pair of shoes from the Goodwill Bins. This is a pair of Brooks women's running shoes. I paid about $2.50 for these as well and these sold for $29 free shipping. Next up, I got this pair of women's Chaco sandals. I think I got these at Salvation Army a couple weeks ago for $5.99 and these sold sold on eBay for $25 plus shipping. Next item is down here in the Z file. It's where I keep all my golf head covers and this uh, TaylorMade M2 driver head cover sold to a viewer. Uh, let's see who it was. Sold to a viewer named William from Elgin, South Carolina. He paid $14.99 plus shipping for this. William, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoy the head cover. Next item is down here in the T bin and it is a set of epoxy resin stuff. I actually picked this up at Dream Deals, one of the Amazon Overstock stores. It's a uh, casting and coating epoxy resin. You can make those like river tables where people like cut live edge wood and put rocks and then put like pour that clear stuff and it hardens like a glass. Uh, I paid $6 for this at Dream Deals uh, plus tax, so like $6 and 10 cents or something. Uh, and it sold for $34 free shipping. It is kind of heavy, but I don't think it'll cost too much, even though it's going all the way to Puerto Rico. Next item is over here in the W file, and it is this pack of Precept golf balls. These are brand new, a, a dozen golf balls. Precept is not a great brand. It's, I mean, it's decent, uh, but certainly nothing to write home about. So these sold for $18 free shipping, probably go in a uh, regular flat rate envelope for like I think it's just under $7 or so. The next item is in the W file as well, and it is this Dr. Ho's uh, muscle massage. It's like a little TENS unit, like one of those electric things that you like stick to your back and thighs and stuff, and it shocks you into being more, more relaxed. I actually picked this up at Goodwill three or four days ago. I paid $3.94 for it. It is brand new in the box, and it sold on eBay for $75 free shipping. And the last eBay item is also over here in the W file. This is a Jackaroo golf head, uh, just a golf head. I was about to say head cover. No, it's just a golf head. I got this in my golf club buyout. If you can't tell, I have a ton of golf clubs over there, a ton over here as well. Paid $1,260 for hundreds of them. And this was just part of the haul. Uh, probably have a couple bucks into this, maybe like $1.50, $2 or so. And it sold for $15 plus $5.50 in shipping. And the last item going out today that we sold on Facebook Marketplace is this pair of women's clogs, like actually branded clogs. I got these at Salvation Army, I think, for $5.99, and these sold on Facebook for $25 plus $9 in shipping. So I'm in my office. I just finished up packing up most of my orders going out today, and now I'm down to the last one, which is the epoxy resin kit. And as I said earlier, it's going all the way to Puerto Rico. And on eBay, when I put in the package information, it's seven pounds. This is like six pounds, two ounces. That's going to round up to seven. And the dimensions of this priority mailbox I'm using is 13 by three by 14. When I put in those dimensions on eBay going priority, it's going to cost me $20.84, which is pretty expensive. So I went over to pirateship.com. I'm sure most of you guys probably know about that, but if you don't, it's just www.pirateship.com. It's totally free to sign up for an account number there. And anytime you have a package like this that is relatively small and heavy, this is a pretty small package, but it's you know almost seven pounds. Usually you can save a good bit of money by using Pirate Ship. So I put in the same um, package details, going to the same place, weighing the same, the dimensions are the same. And on Pirate Ship, it's only gonna cost me $11.79 to send that out. So that's the savings of almost 50% uh, with using Pirate Ship. So if you don't know about that, I'll have a link to the Pirate Ship website in the description of this video. Love you so much. Clean up a little bit. So I'm on the way to the post office right now and I wanna go sourcing this afternoon, but I'm not sure where I wanna go. And I was trying to think of a unique way to choose. And so I just posted over on my Instagram story, uh, a poll for my Instagram followers. They can decide if I'm gonna to go to the Goodwill bins today or if I'm gonna to go to a local antique mall. I've been to the bins hundreds of times and I've actually made a sourcing video at that antique mall once. And that video was actually pretty fun to make and I actually was able to find some profitable items there. It's definitely difficult, uh, but it 
was a fun experience. So hopefully by the time I get to the post office, wait in line, drop those off and, and am done with that, I'll have a pretty solid answer on my Instagram page. If you guys are not following me on Instagram and you'd like to, I am at Harry Tornado, very easy to remember. Uh, and I'd be happy to have you follow me over there. I'm, I'm trying to include my Instagram audience in more of my YouTube videos in ways like this. Uh, and I think it's pretty cool. So definitely give me a follow if you haven't yet. Hey, I'm doing good, Fred. How are you? <laughs> Y'all have a good one. I think I might have some mail in my PO box over here. Haven't checked it in a couple weeks. Oh yeah, lots something there. A key for. Number 18, which is here. I'm gonna have to fill up my IKEA bag. 16 as well. <laughs> I don't know why they couldn't just put that in the other one. Okay, we're good. I will open up all those P.O. box packages when I get home after sourcing today. So my Instagram poll has only been up for 30 minutes or so, but so far we have 116 votes for the Goodwill Bins and 74 votes for the Antique Mall. So I think it's pretty clear that the people want me to go to the Goodwill Bins today. So I'm actually gonna head to the Salvation Army first because it's like five minutes away from this post office, see if we can find anything there, and then we'll go to the Goodwill Bins after that. You guys, I am freaking pumped. I spent like 135 bucks on all this stuff. $100 of it alone was just the guitar. Everything else for 35 bucks, it was just a steal of a deal. I'm gonna make so much money on this stuff today. I literally have not been this excited for a thrift haul in months. I mean, I, I've found some good stuff here and there, but to walk into one single location and find that many high quality items that are super profitable to flip, it's it's been a while and I love it. I found a ton of good stuff at that Salvation Army, but I do want to be true to my word and do what my Instagram followers wanted me to do today. So I'm gonna head into the Goodwill bins over here for just a second and see if we can keep some of this good luck I've had going in the last hour or so, finding stuff to sell on eBay. I think it's the inner tube to go to that, that thing up there. You pull it behind a boat on the water and sit in it. Try not to fall out. I'm just going to chance it. I'm going to buy it and then when I get home, I can hook it up to my air compressor and blow it up and check for holes. Even if it does have holes, you can probably patch it. I mean, if this thing blows up and works, it's a great time of year to sell it. Probably get 150 bucks for it. Do you need your receipt, sir? Uh, no. If you know I bought it, so I'll leave it right over there until I'm yeah, done. I, right I appreciate you. Thanks for the deal. He gave me the inner tube for $5. Super excited to see if it blows up and works. Let's see if we can find anything else today. Liz Claiborne. That's one of those 
dinosaur mass that talk. Box of nails. It's a little typewriter, but too big for me to mess with. Chef May, oh, there's some Etonic golf shoes. Those would be nice if I could find the other one. Here's a nice little leather leather bag. Hin hens. Oh, it's ripped at the bottom. It's pretty nice though. Good quality. It's just dirty. I think it's a little too dirty. Got a little Dyson head right here. I'm not sure the exact model, but this looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's look this up. So I use the Google Lens app to take a picture of that Dyson attachment, and I think it's this one, the full-size genuine Dyson Turbo Turbine Head DC08, uh, maybe. Uh, and this one is out of stock, but listed for $79.99 plus shipping. Uh, pounds, not, not dollars, but definitely worth picking up. It's only going to be like a, maybe two bucks or so. Um, and it's in really, really good shape. I mean, it's not even, not even dirty, so I'd definitely grab that. I got the inner tube, which may or may not inflate properly. We're gonna find out this afternoon and the Dyson thing for a total of $6.89. All right, I just got home. I got this thing laid out. I'm gonna get it pumped up with this little hand pump here. I realized that my air compressor doesn't have the, the appropriate nozzle to pump this up. So I've gotta do that by hand, put it inside the thing here. I wanna show you guys the guitar. I'm gonna to try to get it tuned and maybe play a little bit for you guys later. And I also want to um, kind of go over everything that I got at Salvation Army earlier to give you an idea of how much money I think I can make uh, all together. But I'll go ahead and start pumping that up now and we'll we'll get to it. Oh, and I have to open up the PO box stuff today too. <laughs> it's gonna be a long video. I'm officially out of breath and I'm also officially done pumping this thing up. It looks good. It's nice and nice and firm, nice and plump. Uh, so I think I'll just let it hang out here and make sure it doesn't leak air. Maybe I can sit it on or something, but I feel like if it had a hole in it, it would be leaking more air by now. I also forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to put this on it. Um, it might can still fit on there, but I don't know. Uh, but that's, that's not nearly as big of an issue as if this actually holds air. So while we wait on this to see if it holds air, Let's go ahead and take a look at some of this stuff. So jumping right into the Salvation Army Hall today, the first thing I got was this, well not the first thing I got, but one of the things I got was this cool Eevee plush. Uh, this is from build -A bear You can tell it's build -A bear because it has the BAB logo on the foot down there. This was $1.99 and uh, some sold comps on eBay. They're looking pretty good. I mean like 20, this should sell anywhere from $20 plus shipping to $30 plus shipping. You will see um, when I search some sold comps on Eevee, I saw some really good ones on Flareon. Is that Flareon? Uh, yeah, Flareon. Apparently, uh, Flareon is retired. So if you ever find one of those, definitely pick it up. $120 sold comp right there. I did see some sold comps for Eevees with pajamas with them. This one does not have pajamas, obviously. Uh, but I also think in the current condition, 25 bucks plus shipping is a pretty fair price. Next up is this thing, this Omron blood pressure monitor thing it said 399 on the package and i looked at the barcode to scan it and the barcode the original price on the barcode was 80 dollars. so of course i just went ahead and picked it up i haven't looked up sold comps yet but we'll go ahead and first of all make sure it's actually in here i didn't even open it up in the store looks like it's good to go it needs batteries uh, but it looks like it's good to go I'll put some batteries in there and fully test it let's look up sold comps real fast comps are okay not quite as good as i was expecting but we got uh what, like 25 bucks uh 25 that one's like 20 what 29 so not bad not bad as long as this uh works everything should be 25 30 bucks 
Uh, again, we paid $3.99 for this one. Next up, we got this really, really cool pair of men's Echo golf shoes, like a nice gray leather, spikeless, very modern. These are in excellent condition. The size is 42 extra wide. I'm not sure what that is, probably like a 10 and a half wide or so. It's a really good size. Uh, and again, really good condition. I paid $6.99 for these. Echo Golf, I don't know the exact model to look up exact sold comps, but I would imagine these would sell, especially this time of year, like spring, people are starting to golf more. I, I'm probably gonna list these for like $59.99 plus shipping. Maybe accept a best offer of like 45 to 50 bucks or so, but uh, definitely don't wanna take any less than that. These are a very modern pair of Echo Golf Shoes. Echo is a great brand of golf shoes to be on the lookout for, very comfortable. Uh, and especially in that nice wide size. These should sell pretty quickly for me. One of the last things I found in a Salvation Army today was in the little sunglass box up by the register. I have never found anything in there. And of course, the first pair of sunglasses I picked up, I noticed on the side, it says Shady Rays, which I have heard of this brand. I feel like they advertise a lot on maybe YouTube or something. Um, and I was just like, I mean, they're used, they're a little rough around the edges, but I went and looked up sold comps on eBay of uh, just like regular shady rays sunglasses. So there's been 32 pairs of shady rays sunglasses uh, pre-owned sold in the last 90 days. Um, there's a pair of wood grain right there that sold uh, a while ago for 33 bucks. Is that plus shipping or? Uh, yeah, on auction, 33 bucks plus $8.45 shipping. These would definitely not cost that much to ship out. So I, I paid 99 cents for these and, and again, they're in a little rough condition, rougher on the edges, but uh, pretty cool, pretty dope. 99 cent sunglasses, I'd say I could pretty easily get 25 bucks plus shipping. Got this pair of shoes here. This is a pair of Saucony Hurricane 15 running shoes. I don't know if these are men's or women's, but they are in very good condition. Like, I mean, check out the bottoms of those things. Pristine, baby, only a little bit of dirt, but very, very minimal wear. Hey, peekaboo. Uh, these are, oh gosh, worth the size. Okay, uh, this may have been, this may have been a mistake. So this size tag is clearly just worn the heck off, and this size tag is not even present at all. So, how am I supposed to know what size these are? Let's try them on. They fit me, but they're a little snug. So I would say I wear like a nine and a half to ten, depending on the on the brand. Um, so I'm probably, I can probably list these as like a men's size nine and a half like listed as that and then into the script say men's size nine and a half c description and then in the description say hey you know the size tags are worn off i wear a nine and a half size to ten it fits me it's kind of snug so i'm going to say this is a nine and a half in saucony and hopefully that'll be good enough to get the sale uh, especially considering how good of condition these are in otherwise then we got this cool pair of shoes what a lebron is that lebron i, I don't know these are really freaking cool though let me look up the little style number in here. These are Nike LeBron 10 Easter Poison Green. Ooh, that's a that's a cool one. Okay, so let's go to Solds. There's only been three that have sold in the last 90 days. Comps aren't great. Not as good as I thought. Like 30 bucks? I can't read backwards, but that one down there sold for like $9. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, they're in good condition overall. Need a little bit of cleaning. I did check the bubbles at the bottom. The bubbles are not popped, so those are good to go. Uh, I paid $6.99 for these. I'm probably going to throw these, like get them cleaned and you know take some good pictures. Maybe throw them up for like $39.99 plus shipping, turn on best offer uh, and see what happens. Um, they're in good good, good condition and again they're a size 7Y so I might try to list them as maybe like a women's shoe or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I didn't really think when I bought these shoes. I just saw that they were Nikes, good condition, cool looking shoes, and grabbed them for $6.99. The last thing I got at, well not the last thing, the second to last thing I got at, at Salvation Army today. This is, I have no idea what it's worth, but I could not leave it there. This is Bernard and Gussie Klein Memorial Award Outstanding Salesman, Laverne Castle, Crown Products, 1980. This is a really cool thing because one, this dude up here is brass. This is like this is like a 12 inch tall brass figure. And so just this figure alone, we can pop the nameplate off, that's fine. Just this figure alone is probably worth a good amount of money. But then it looks just like one of the Dundies from the office, just much larger. So I might, I might keep this as like the ultimate Dundee award and put it back on my shelf. But I also might take it apart, uh, take the nameplate off and sell it because 
it's so hard to assign a value to something like this, but I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was willing to pay 50 to $75 for this. Because again, this is heavy. This is solid, solid brass salesman up here. Uh, so again, one of those items that's just unique and interesting and it's really hard to put a price on it, but I definitely could not leave it behind for $3.99. Shout out Laverne Castle for donating his uh, salesman, Outstanding Salesman Award from 1980 to Salvation Army. And now the last thing that I got at Salvation Army today is this super freaking sick guitar. I don't think it's a, it's a great brand. The brand is Urban, Urban, but it is a beautiful, guitar look at that baby this thing is shiny it's it's awesome it is absolutely awesome it looks to be in good condition there's a little bit of like chipping right there for, from when the uh the plug the amp plug kind of got in the way i guess i paid 99 dollars 99 for this it definitely needs to be tuned but i think i might spend a couple minutes now tuning it plug it up to my amp and make sure it all works maybe play a little bit for you guys this is uh keith urban keith it's a keith urban guitar that's what urban means. That is so freaking cool. I looked up soul comps very, very quickly on eBay and I saw one that was just like this listed for like $249 plus shipping. Um, but I didn't take time to look up any solds. So I just grabbed it before anybody else could. So I'm super excited about this. It even still has the plastic. It has the plastic coating on the pit guard. I don't want to pull it off. I mean, I do want to pull it off. This is very, <laughs> You guys see it, you guys see it. This thing is in great, great condition. I'm gonna get it tuned and plugged up and see what it sounds like. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a fully functioning Keith Urban guitar plugged into an amp. It looks beautiful. It's it's loud, it's tuned, kinda. Not bad, not bad. I, I, you know, I don't have my tuner with me, but it sounds pretty good. I mean, I'm not a musician or, I mean, I'm not a professional musician or anything, but. I like it. I can't really play guitar. I haven't played guitar in months. My fingers are already hurting uh, because of the, the metal frets. But this guitar does sound really good. It's got a rhythm setting, a treble setting. It's got all these knobs. I mean, this thing's ready, ready to go. Uh, this strap is mine. It doesn't have a strap with it. I use use this, but I mean, it, it sounds it sounds good. It sounds good for an electric guitar. So I am going to list this bad boy. I thought I was gonna keep it, but I don't know. I've, I've been playing guitar off camera for like 20 minutes now, and I'm just not really feeling it. You know, I I don't know. So I'm gonna list this. Uh, I'm gonna say two two forty nine plus shipping. The same exact same price as the other one that was listed earlier, uh, and hopefully that should make us a profit of. A little over 100 bucks or so after fees and shipping and all that. Uh, it will be kind of difficult to ship, but the hardest part is just finding a box big enough for it. And then after you do that, you can just ship it UPS Ground or FedEx Smart Post or something like that. Uh, so definitely a cool find, 100 bucks. Got a really nice case. It doesn't have a strap, but um, a really, really nice Keith Urban guitar. A good guitar to like learn on. It's it's not like a beginner guitar, but it's like a maybe an intermediate or so. So pretty cool find. I'm happy with it. Had to come back out here to check to see if the tube thing is looking good i think it is can you, can you see that i think it's looking pretty good it, ha it doesn't look like it's lost any air at all man that is freaking bright so i think it's safe to say that the tube is ready to be listed on facebook marketplace and sold of course i'm not going to ship something like this uh, in columbia slash lexington south carolina where i live we have a huge lake here uh and everybody that lives on the lake has a boat and a lot of the boats have tubes or need tubes uh so i think if i take a picture of this today get it listed on facebook for i'll probably list it for like 125 or so local pickup um and if somebody wants to send me an offer of you know, 100 bucks, 80 to 100 bucks a show, I'll go ahead and take that. Turn in $5 into a quick little Facebook Marketplace sale. Sick tube sale, bro. All right, let's finish up today's video by opening some of this P.O. Box mail here. I don't know if these are like mail, if, if this is mail from viewers or if this is mail like returned eBay stuff. Um, what, is, what is this? Uh, this is not a returned item. <laughs> 
Okay, this is, there's a note. Hey Josh, greetings from Coleman, Alabama. My wife and I watch your YouTube channel and, and enjoy it very much. We get information about sourcing and how to navigate eBay. We recently started reselling ourselves. Keep posting great content and good luck with everything you do. Here's some extra energy for you. Your fans, Ashley and Trista. Standiford. So thank you so much guys. Uh, if you couldn't tell, they sent me a six pack of Bang Energy drinks. That's perfect because I've only had two today and I needed a third. So I really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Next up, this is from John from Kent. Kent something? This is a note. Hey Josh, I made my first sale on eBay today thanks to your inspiration and helpful informational videos. I've been following you on YouTube for a few months and finally made the plunge into reselling on eBay. Uh, to show you my gratitude, please find and close a fun t-shirt for you, thrifted of course, and a custom made by me face mask with your initials in metallic foil. Check out our picture in my custom made shirt cut and sewn by me from a thrifted bed sheet. Uh, keep up the great work and congrats on 100k subs. Regard, John Yingling, aka Henry Hustle Reseller. This, <laughs> this is the picture <laughs> he took of us. Oh, uh, uh, John, if I ever meet you in real life, I'm happy to take a real picture with you for sure. So let's check out this t-shirt that he made here. Oh wait, he made, he made this shirt. He made the shirt he's wearing from a thrifted bed sheet. That is awesome. That's a really cool shirt, man. He sent me a Dunder Mifflin shirt. Look at that. Thank you so much for that. And then, uh, ugh, face mask shirt. This is a high class mask. Love it. Thanks so much, John. You're the best. All right, moving on. What is this? This is from Julie. <laughs> Julie, what kind of tape are you using, girl? Where's my wrench? <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life, Julie. Is this a note? Oh no! I didn't know there was a note in there. I ripped the note. I don't know. I don't know. Julie, I'm so sorry. I did not know there was a note in there. Let me try to piece it together. Okay, this says, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Josh, we hope you enjoy this chart. My husband thought he could make one for so your wife can have hers back. We want to thank you for your content. We love, we love it. You are so informative and full of great knowledge about thrifting slash reselling. We've started ourselves. Our store is Lake Erie Treasures Resale. Best of luck, and thanks again, Julie and Mike. Uh, but thank you so much, I appreciate that. Let's see, I think I know what this is, because I think you told me, told me about it. So if you guys remember, I made my chart, my cookie cheat, my cheat, my cookie. Oh! I made my cookie sheet metallic chart to keep up with my health and eBay business and YouTube business and family and spiritual life. Talked about it in a couple videos, uh, maybe like a month or so ago. I've been keeping up with it. I just haven't put it in a video. And they made uh, what was uh, Julie, Julian, Julian Mike made me my very own chart out of a cookie sheet. Harry Tornado. That's me with a little hair, a tornado beard. Cute. Got all my numbers, health, eBay, YouTube, family, faith. Perfect. Now I can just switch over my magnets and my wife can have her cookie sheet back. So thank you guys so much. This is super, super cool. I, I love this. I love this so much. It's it's always, I'm always just blown away by the creativity of, of viewers that send me stuff like this. This is just awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Last package here. So this is from... Oh, dropped one. This is from my friend David. He said that somebody reached out to him and gave him a bunch of uh, Game Boy games uh, to do whatever with. And he was like, hey, I know Josh, he likes to resell. He offered to just give me the games. And um, I was like, no, I don't take them from you. Like, I'll give you like part of the profit when I sell them. So these are some games he gave me to sell. We got Alice in Wonderland for Nintendo uh, DS. Then we got Super Mario 64 for Nintendo DS. That's an interesting one. Zelda Spirit Tracks. We got Pokemon Soul Silver, Pokemon Black, Avatar something, $14.99, Sonic Rush, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy 3. I know the Pokemon games are probably going to be pretty good. Um, I'm not. I'm, sh I'm sure Mario Super Mario 64 for Nintendo DS is going to be good as well. Uh, there might be some other ones. Those are just the ones I know off the top of my head. So David, shout out to you, David Logue, all the way down in Honduras. Shout out from Honduras. I appreciate you, David. We'll get these things sold and I will 
Split that commish! Oh, my office is in shambles. I am done <laughs> for today's video. I have, I'm exhausted. I've got to get this stuff cleaned up a little bit and get some of this stuff processed and actually listed so we can make some money. I'm super happy with the items that I found today both at Salvation Army and at the Goodwill Bins. And uh, again, huge shout out to those of you who follow me on Instagram who helped me decide where to go today. I still want to go to that antique mall in a future video, uh, but today was all about Salvation Army and Bins and I think it turned out pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I love you so much. You're the best and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh.